Hello and welcome to Infinity. The linear gradient, which we've covered elsewhere, gives a fade in one direction across the picture. Another really useful gradient is the ellipse gradient, so let's have a look at it. First of all, we're going to add a simple pixel layer. Uh, because if we painted straight on the background, it would just basically overwrite the background. So we go to the gradient tool here. Go up to the type and go down to elliptical. This changes this here and you get this little dot up here and you can sort of try and pull an ellipse out of that. But best thing is not to, is just to ignore it because you can start an ellipse anywhere. I can, every time you re-click, you get yourself a new ellipse. So we can draw one out like this and you start off, it starts off the default sort of egg shaped and going from white to grey. So let's change that up here and go from white to black so we can see it a bit better. There, that's pretty clear, isn't it? Right, so let's click out here and look at what happens. I clicked outside and it lost the gradient again. If you do that happens, you can just repaint it. So it's quite easy to do. You can tilt it with the end point here. You can reshape it with either of these. If, however, you like the aspect ratio of the, the ellipse, you can click this little button up here, which says Maintain Fill Aspect Ratio. And now if you drag one of these, the overall shape is retained. The other buttons up here, by the way, the reverse gradient switches the ends of it, of it, so it goes, there you go, white to black as opposed to black to white that way. And the rotate gradient flips it round 90 degrees at a time. Although you can always turn by just by dragging the end, so. So what else can you do? This little thing in here, this little halfway mark, if we turn it one way and back again, we can show the change the, the the way that the gradient sort of fades across its range. It's exactly the same as what you have up here. It's that little one in the middle. You, and like other gradients, you can add extra points and change you know the colors and shapes across the gradient. But with an ellipse, let's look for a use of it. And what we'll do is. We will take this layer and change the blend mode from normal and scan down, look at what we get. Well, actually straight away, the, the darkened one gives you an interesting, you know, mystical lens onto uh, the, the landscape. Uh, multiply is also quite useful. It doesn't look so useful here because it just blackens the outside. But if you turn down the opacity, then it very quickly becomes a lot better gradient. And you can take the little thing on the edge here if you want to brighten up the middle. So you can drag that out and that changes how bright the middle of that gradient is. Uh, so you can use that along with the opacity to shape this overall thing. Um, other blend mode that's sometimes used is something like overlay or a particular soft light. Soft light, you really don't need typically to change the opacity. So that's with a 100% opacity. Soft light is usually quite reasonable. What it does, however, with, the, uh, with overlay or soft light, when you've got the black at the end here, that darkens it. But also where you've got white, it lightens it. So it's actually added light to the middle of the picture. If you don't want to do that, you're going to change this to gray. When you click on it, you can change it up here, but also we can change it up here. And so we could, we need 128, 128, 128, red, green, blue. So we can actually type it out 128, tab, 128, tab, 128. Tab, 128. And that's sent it on grey. So now with a, with a soft light or an overlay, the middle is not changed. Uh, and again, you can drag things out and so on. You can use the move that middle bit there. You can change the opacity 
to lighten and darken and a good thing when using opacity is turn it all the way down and then gradually turn up until you get about the right effect and if you start to notice it maybe turn it back down a little bit okay there we go that is the ellipse uh, the gradient ellipse for this sort of thing it's really useful thank you very much for watching